today on an all-new Dr. Phil. This is where the magic happens, baby. She's a cougar. I'm 58, and Oleg is my cub. And proud of it. Men my age are in rehab, or they're dead. I think in the younger mindset. I can think young all day, but I have a mirror. Older women with younger men. We're all adults here. Well, most of us. Are you in love with her? To an, an extent, yes. Oh, this sounds solid. They have good bodies. Some of my ex-boyfriends did not have good bodies, and I love them just like a big teddy bear, just like Dr. Phil. Let's do it. Is a safe place to talk about hard things. Stand by, Dr. Phil. I'll try to be an emotional compass and point you in the right direction. In five, four. I am not giving up on you. Go, Dr. Phil. Tick today, all right? It involves pie. You guys know pie, right? You do it to class. Uh, but pie does not add up to 3.14 today because it involves a woman whose name is pie. <laughs> and her age adds up to 58. Okay, she doesn't mind us saying that, so I'm not in trouble. <laughs> and we have Oleg who is 24. You guys are so far ahead of me. Come on, act like you don't know where this is going. If you subtract these numbers, God, I hope I get this right, you wind up with a slight difference. 34 years, okay? Now, I know there's a lot of debate about this kind of thing. Now, Pi says she's a cougar and Oleg is her cub. <laughs> Even though it's more common now for older women to date younger men, such relationships still raise eyebrows and make headlines. 68-year-old actress Susan Sarandon went public about her relationship with 37-year-old Jonathan Bricklin earlier this year. Meanwhile, across the pond, 47-year-old British film director Sam Taylor Wood has two children with her husband, Aaron Johnson, 23 years her junior. There's no doubt that the cougar lifestyle still brings on stares and questions from concerned loved ones. But Pi says she doesn't care what anybody thinks or what they say about her and her cub, Oleg. Take a look. My name is Pumpkin Pie, but people just call me Pie. Come for the food, stay for the pie. I love younger men because one thing they have is hair. I just can't go for the bald guys. Sorry, Dr. Phil. <laughs> I love you, but N-O. I met Oleg through a dating website. We're both into animals, the environment, food, and love to cook. I'm 58 and Oleg is 24. Based on the definition of cougar, I believe I qualify. Oleg is my darling little cub right now. He's gorgeous. Orlando Bloom ain't got nothing on him. Even since high school, I have really loved younger men. Sex with younger men, in my experience, they're just ready to go on a dime. This is where the magic happens, baby. The motion of the ocean. My waterbed. <laughs> Honey, sexual relationship is really just the icing on the cake, the whipped cream on the pie. It's just a great perk that comes along with younger men. I, I don't see myself as a mother figure to these men, but I see myself, an honest to God, as a mentor. Anyone that has an issue with me going out with younger men, love is love, baby. You never know where you're gonna find it. Amen. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. So, bald guys just don't do it for you, huh? I'm sorry. You don't know that this isn't a solar panel for a sex machine. You don't know. Uh, uh, 
I could be gearing this up. I, I, I drag her in here every day. She just... That's right, baby. All right, now, Pi says she gravitates toward young and hot men. So you're looking for the physical here, right? It's okay if they're smart, but you don't care if they're dumb. Right. Well, no, I love smart, but I'm a Libra, and Libras love beauty. Oh, so God. I always sort of go towards the beauty. I'm not saying Oleg is not bright. I've never met him. I don't know. He actually does seem like a bright guy. Bright and uh, sweet. I met 24-year-old Oleg on a dating website. Oleg says he saw Pi's profile, and he just had to reach out to her despite the 34-year age difference. Take a look. Pi is very vibrant, very alive. <laughs> I've always gravitated towards older women. Pi is the oldest woman I've dated. She does not feel like someone that's 58. When I hear 58 in my mind, it does portray a senior citizen. She is young at heart. I haven't been able to find the chemistry with women my own age. They're very distracted, very flaky. Pi has a lot of life experience, so I look to her as a mentor to some extent. I like to be taken care of by my woman. I like to be pampered. Pi takes care of me. She caters to me. Society accepts older women with younger men as completely normal. I don't see why me and Pi can't be accepted as well. If someone says that someday you are gonna dump Pi for some younger girl, I simply tell them I'm living in the moment, I'm having fun, and nothing else matters. Amen. <laughs> okay, so, so you're, just, you're just in the moment, right? And so if you're having a good time right now, then you're not too worried about going forward. Yeah, I'm not. So are you, do you think you're likely to be with pumpkin pie here? I can, um, answer, I can answer in that. In 10 years, or do you know or care? I can answer that as well as I can answer what will the coin land on, heads or tails. I just wouldn't know. Yeah, and you're okay with that? Oh, absolutely. Pie and Oli say they have some things in common. I made a list. They both love to party and have a good time. They both love the entertainment industry. They both enjoy alternative music. Uh, both are food fanatics and like to cook. All right, now, Pi and Oleg may be living it up in their relationship, but Pi may end up paying a hefty price because she could be losing her best friend of over 15 years because of this love affair. Now, Pi's friend, uh, Therese, is it Therese? Therese, Therese? yeah. Uh, she's going to join us next and tell us why she thinks she is deluding herself. We'll be right back. <laughs> Pi's close to 60, and he's 24. What could they possibly have in common? They're decades apart. I think Pi likes young guys because she has a mommy complex. No guy wants to date his mom. Someone had asked me if I'm ever threatened by young, hot women that would come around Oleg and I. Absolutely not. If someone's with me, they're with me. I don't worry about anyone leaving me for a younger woman. If that's what they want to do, that's what they're going to do. Well, we're talking about cougars and cubs, and I'm not talking about cats. I'm talking about older women and younger men. Now, we want to hear from you. Would you date someone considerably older or considerably younger? So go to Twitter, and if you say yes, sure, use the hashtag, just a number. If you say no way, use the hashtag, age matters. Okay? Now, 58-year-old Pi, 24-year-old Oleg have been in their Cougar Cub relationship now for four months. They say the 34-year age difference is completely irrelevant. They're happy together. They don't have any problems. But not everybody supports their love affair. Pi's best friend of 15 years, Therese, says she doesn't want to be there and have to pick up the pieces when Oleg breaks Pi's heart. In fact, Therese says she's on the verge of ending her friendship because of this relationship. Take a look. Pi and I have known each other for 15 years. 
Pi is completely wasting her time with these pretty boys. It's superficial. Every time I turn around, she meets some 25-year-old guy. Pi's close to 60, and he's 24. What could they possibly have in common? They're decades apart. There's so many things wrong with a woman close to 60 dating somebody in their early 20s. First off, what if he wants to have kids? Pi can't have kids. I think Pi likes young guys because she has a mommy complex. She likes to take care of these guys. She likes to nurture them. No guy wants to date his mom. Pi's really trying to hang on to her youth by dating younger guys. Inevitably, he's gonna dump her and she's gonna get hurt. Pi's a party girl. She likes to have fun. And these guys are drawn to it because she draws them in because she's very aggressive. So when I tell her to date older men, she said that she's not attracted to them or they're married, but there are plenty of men out there that are single. I'm at the end of my rope with Pi. I'm thinking of just really ending our friendship until she realizes why she does this pattern. I just think it's ridiculous she dates these little boys. Okay, oh. um, are, are you married or single? I'm single. Do you date? Yes. Your guys your age, not your age? Older. Older guys? I like a little jolly. Yeah, like how older? Um, my last boyfriend was 66. Uh-huh. And do you mind saying how old you are? Uh, don't, don't if you, if you do. I mean, some, some women don't like to say that. And it's rude for me to ask. I'll, go, I'll move on. Okay. But there's but an that age. Was old, that was the oldest for me. Usually yeah. they're 50 or a little older. Okay. Yeah. But there's an age gap there. Why is that okay for you but not for her? You need someone that's going to help take care of you. More security for her. I mean, that's, uh -huh. that's my hope for her. Well, you have issues with this. I made a list of those, too. And here they are. Oleg is immature and a user. He's just a pretty boy with a good body. Pi is wasting her time with Oleg. He will leave due to the 34-year age gap. So well, how do you know he's a user? That's right. How do you know? It's just the pattern. It's a pattern that... His, his pattern? No, the pattern that she has with these guys. Oh, that she gets a lot of people that use her. Well, they want to see what they have. You know, she has a lot... She knows a lot of people, and she promises them the world. Are you using her? I mean, like, for her connections and all that sort of thing? I'm just having fun. Yeah, having fun. Yeah. Um, you, you say that she provides stability and never questions your actions. Yeah. Isn't that, like, the perfect girlfriend? I'm sorry? How, how much awesomer does it get than that? You never have your questions. How much you awesomer never... can you get you than that? <laughs> To never have your actions questioned. I've never actually <laughs> conjugated awesome <laughs> between her. Um, so awesome. It, so somebody that just anything you do, anything he does is okay. Yeah, of course. So if, if he calls and says, hey, I was going down Melrose and I, I saw this girl that just, I mean. Smoking she, hot. Just, I, ha I, I had to pull over. Babe. And we, we're going to go out tonight. And so let me catch you tomorrow. That's okay? I wouldn't have it. I'm asking her. <laughs> well, you ventriloquist? He, 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 <laughs> if he, lo I don't mind anyone looking. Are you kidding? Why not? I that mean, wasn't I was surrounded by beautiful women. But he wouldn't do that if we're in a relationship. Oh, no. Oh, no. Of course he wouldn't. Oh, hell no. No. He, <laughs> if he saw some 20 something hot body walking along there that gave him a second look and they started chatting up at the coffee bean or something, one thing led to another and then he calls you and says, hey, can't make it tonight. I'll see you tomorrow. Would you be okay? Would he tell you that straight up? And if he did, would you be okay with it? Would you tell me that straight up? <laughs> yeah. I just wouldn't do that. I wouldn't take another girl. Because th that's what you're saying that's yeah, going to happen see, eventually, right? Uh, she's going to age out and he's... Yes. And he's going to hurt her and I'm going to have to pick up the pieces. Aw. Yeah. Because do you, do you think in the dating arena that you are competitive with a girl 30, 40 years younger than you? I and think, if so, what's your I competitive think I, age? I think I am 34. Uh, a, yeah. I forget that I'm 58. Yeah, but let me remind you. <laughs> you, you are. And, and, and because, because I was in the music business all my life and did nightclubs, I was just surrounded by younger people, so I just don't think in the older mindset. I think in the younger mindset. Right. But, so, you know, I can think young all day, but yeah. I have a mirror.
Yeah, no, no, well, you know, that's, yes. well, that's why I go to low lit, low lighting, low lit yeah. places, <laughs> little candlelight. No, here and, there. and you're lovely. I'm not. Oh, I'm not you saying so that you're unattractive. I'm just saying that there. Do, do you think you're competitive in the dating market with those 20, 30, 40 years younger than you? Well, yeah, I think it's a whole different issue. I'm never going to look that way again. But if you look at the pictures on my refrigerator, I did. Yeah. So you know, I mean, I was hot, baby. But you offer different things. <laughs> Yes. You are more nurturant yep. than they are. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Uh, right. Yeah, educational, you know, things to discuss in life that he has never, yeah. you know, had someone to discuss with. Absolutely. So you're just enriching him. Enrichment. All right, next, Pi shares That's her top correct. 10 tips for dating younger men. That you're going to want to hear these. <laughs> She doesn't give them a chance unless they're beautiful or they have good bodies. Some of my ex-boyfriends did not have good bodies, and I love them just like a big teddy bear, just like Dr. Phil. Look at <laughs> Therese is one of my dearest friends. Therese feels supposed that I'm dating younger men. Therese is worried that I won't find the man of my dreams. Therese should get on the bandwagon. I mean, there's nothing wrong with a younger man. I mean, what is she thinking? Well, 58-year-old Pi says she is a self-admitted cougar who loves dating younger men. She is currently dating Oleg, who is 34 years her junior. So if she was his mom, she would have had him kind of at the end of the child-bearing recommended windows. Yeah. He, he, he <laughs> certainly could have children, and she could be their grandmother. Uh, <laughs> now, here are the top ten tips that t Pa has for dating younger men. Uh, you got to be fun-loving, right? Yes. So you can't be all fuddy-duddy. It gets boring. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you can't be a bore. You yeah. can't nag. Yeah. Because you know, if you do, you'll remind him of his mother. Correct. All right. Does yep. she nag you at all? No. No. I wouldn't be here. You what? <laughs> I wouldn't be here. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you have to ignore the stairs. You must have a natural chemistry. You, you yeah. can't force it. Of it's course. Be, yeah. All right. And, and don't lie about your age. You got to be heads up about it, right? Yep. And um, you got to allow yourself to be vulnerable. What's that mean? Well, to me, vulnerable just means you know, uh, affectionate. Affectionate, caring, um, you know, cuddly, romantic. Uh -huh. And you say don't take yourself too seriously. Yes. Oh. And you, you, you say keep it interesting, go out a lot, do a lot of things, stay on the move. Yes. Um, and keep it sexy always. Always. Yeah. <laughs> always, baby. <laughs> yeah. and, and you think what's going to happen is she's going to actually fall for one of these Oleg's. Well, and she... I say one of these because you think they're interchangeable. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> they are. And you think she's going to fall for one of them and then when they leave it's going to really break her heart. Well, Dr. Phil, she does fall for them. You've seen it. Absolutely. Time and time again. And I'm here and I am always have to hear and I have to but hear. What does she say about it? Because now she's saying, oh, it's just all fun and fancy and fun. We just go music and we make pies and we <laughs> smear them on each other and we you know all of this. And then... But then she comes to you and says, what? When all the fun's over and they've gone, and then I have to, you know, be there for her to but build her up. What does she say? What does she say? What, what does hurt about her? Does she feel abandoned? Does she feel... She feels abandoned. She feels taken for granted. They promise her a lot of things. And, you know, nothing comes to fruition. They last for a little while, and then they disappear. And she's so telling a different story than you because you're saying this is all fun and games, and she's saying, no, no, no. She comes crashing down hard, and I'm there to pick her up. Okay, so wait. Can I just point out one relationship that I had in the past that was married, had children, lied the whole time, put a ring on my finger, and broke my flippin' heart? Okay, so hello. What's the difference? I mean, that was a, that was a man my age that I thought, you know, we had a future. And that came crashing down. Yeah, and this is prepared. What? And this is more like she's just ready for, she knows that I can go. You know, it's like we're just having fun right now. And that's it. Enjoying life. Enjoying life. 
We're, but what she's we're saying all is be you, dead soon. What she's saying is you get hooked and then you get hurt. Well that one was supposed to stay. Do you the, think he's gonna be past. with you do you think he's gonna be with you ten years from now? You never know. Do we know? No. <laughs> he's shaking his head no. No, I said we don't know. <laughs> You may qualify it now, but you said... I, I said we don't know. I said we don't know, you know? Yeah, yeah I do know. You never uh, know. And, and the other issue, too, is men my age are either in rehab, lying and cheating, or, or they're dead. So I'm, I'm a, I got a real small pool going on here lately. Dr. Phil. We'll go out, and there'll be some nice older men, and you've got to give them a chance more close to her. She doesn't give them a chance unless they're beautiful or they have good bodies. But you just, I want you to give them a chance. I don't always look for the good bodies. Some of my ex-boyfriends did not have good bodies, and I love them just like a big teddy bear, just like Dr. Phil. Look at them. <laughs> you look good, Dr. Phil. Another cougar couple join us. In this case, it's 52-year-old Bella, and she says her relationship with 32-year-old Eddie is the best she's ever had. <laughs> we'll meet them next. Eddie's 32. I am 51. Sex with Eddie is definitely the best sex I've ever had. These got a lot of stamina. Older men just don't cut. It. 52-year-old Bella says she discovered the cougar lifestyle after her 23-year marriage ended. Now, Bella has been dating a man 20 years younger than she is and claims it's the best relationship she has ever had. Take a look. I would say that I am a cougar because I enjoy the company of a younger men. What I love about younger men is their passion, intimacy, and their energy. I was married for 23 years. After my divorce, I started going on dating websites. I met Eddie on a dating website. What's your price? We're cougars, me cubs. Eddie's definitely a cub. Eddie makes me happy. Eddie makes me smile. Our chemistry is definitely off the charts. When I turned 40, my sex drive went straight up. I have sexual needs that only a younger man can fulfill. Sex with Eddie is definitely the best sex I've ever had. He's got a lot of stamina and he's a very passionate person. Older men just don't cut it in a sex department. To anyone that says that I should be with a man my own age, I say I love being a cougar and I don't care what other people think because I'm having fun. Well, Bella's 32-year-old boyfriend, Eddie, says he loves her. And the fact that she's the same age as his mother is completely <laughs> irrelevant to him. <laughs> Bella and I have been dating for almost a year. Bella would be considered a cougar and I would be considered a cub. I have always had a thing for older women since I was very young. The oldest woman I've ever dated is 61. I love the older ladies. Bella is hot the sex is absolutely great. I think she has a fantastic body for her age. Some guys my age are out to go party and hit the clubs and, you know, chase girls and get drunk and, you know, do all that sort of stuff. I'm kind of over it. I'm kind of looking more for something a little more stable, a little more solid. The sex with older women has always been more satisfying. There's less uh, inhibitions, less insecurity, less self-consciousness. I do have a couple friends who tease me about it. We're hanging out and they'll point at an elderly woman with a walker and they'll make fun and say, hey, Ed, you know, why don't you see if you can hit on her or something. My feelings for Bella are absolutely real. I don't question it. I don't think anybody else has a right to question it. 
Well, Bella says most men around her age don't have the energy to keep up with her. How, how so? Mostly physically. Yeah. At least the ones that I've encountered. Yeah, you mean In sexually? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you have a appetite for, I, for healthy sexual appetite. Yes, I do. Yeah. <laughs> yes. We're all adults here. Well, yes. most, most of us. <laughs> Just kidding, sort of. Do you ever fight? Of course. What, what, what happens when you argue? Mm, we have makeup sex. We have makeup sex. Yeah. Are you in love with him? I, I would say yes. I like him very much. I, it, in love is just a scary word, but I yeah. do love Eddie. Because you, you said yes, and then yes. you said I like him a lot, and then you said I know, but in you love, know, love is, is really like, scary. I know. You love. shook your head. Are you in love with her? To an, an extent, yes, I am. Absolutely. Oh, this sounds solid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's very solid for us. Um, it's solid for the two of you. Yes, exactly. That's. Are, are you used to broken relationships? Um, not really, because I was you married were 23 for 23 years. Yeah. Okay, and mm. how long you've been with him? For a year? For about a year, yeah. Uh -huh. But and I've known him a while. Okay, earlier I, <laughs> earlier I asked my Twitter followers this question. Would you date somebody considerably older or younger? Here's what you've had to say so far. 62% say it's just a number. Because you're both adults, right? Right. And you're, you're both I totally healthy agree and... with that. Bella's friend Lois says, Eddie is a womanizer with bad intentions. We'll talk to her next. Maybe she and Therese can gang up here. I don't know. <laughs> I can only speculate that Eddie is in this either for money or sex. I think Eddie and every younger man always has an ulterior motive when they're dating an older woman. My relationship with Eddie is definitely one of the best I've ever had. I don't worry if people think I'm his mother or not. It hasn't happened so far and hopefully never will. Of course, I worry about Eddie finding a younger woman, but so far so good. Well, I'm talking today with self-described cougars and their young men that are referred to as cubs. Now, Bella is 52 and her man Eddie is 32. Both adults, right? I mean, and they're both very healthy and vibrant and attractive couple. Their relationship does not set well with Bella's good friend Lois, however, who believes that Bella's relationship is based purely on sex and nothing else. Take a look. Bella and Eddie's relationship, in my opinion, will be doomed to fail because the age gap is so huge. Eddie is going to want to eventually move on to somebody younger. Once the sex is gone, he's out the door. Bye-bye. Bella is insecure, and Bella wants to stay young forever. And as we know, we can't stay young forever, and this is her way to try to do that. Bella puts a lot of emphasis on sex, and I think that's her main objective here. I can only speculate that Eddie is in this either for money or sex. I think Eddie and every younger man always has an ulterior motive when they're dating an older woman. I think Eddie is a womanizer, and I think the next piece of ass that comes by is going to go after. Girl, I said, open your eyes. I said, this is not what you really want. How do I get Bella to wake up and realize Eddie is not her future, and she's going to get hurt in the long run? Okay, so you're looking out for your friend, yes, right? Yes, I am. You just, you, you don't want to see her get hurt. Yes. And do you think, you say he's a womanizer, do you know him? Not really. I try not to get close to him. I just don't, I want to stay away. Well, how do you know he's a womanizer and an opportunist and all of those things? Well, He some, looks like a nice guy. Yeah, I'm sure he is a nice guy. But from what I've heard and what I see kind of with the two of them, I just don't trust him. Yeah. Yes. So who, who, who pays for things when, when you all go out and that sort of thing? Well, sometimes he pays, sometimes we split, sometimes uh -huh. I pay. Yeah. My and rule is whoever invites. Yeah. If whoever ask, invites. If I ask her out, then I pay. If she says, hey, let's go to dinner, then 
I'll offer to pay, but she'll usually grab the check from me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, I'm just curious. Um, and y'all don't live together. No. No. Uh, would you? No. Why not? I, I just, I don't know, I think I like the way things, the way they are, you yeah. know, just, mm, I have my privacy, he has his privacy, is this, but then we... Is this exclusive? Yes. So you don't see other people? No. no. And do you believe that? I don't know. You, you don't know? No. All right, now, know. Lois has issues with Bella and Eddie's relationship. Here they are. Eddie has ulterior motives and may be with Bella for money. Uh, believes that Eddie's M.O. is definitely that of a womanizer. Bella is the same age as Eddie's mother, and that's just a problem for her, and the only thing driving their relationship is sex. And that once that's gone, the relationship will be gone. And you're saying that she's cruising for a bruising that way. I this absolutely is, agree. And I absolutely does agree. Does she have a valid point here in terms of that if he moves on to, to someone younger, that gonna, it would hurt you. Gonna be hurt, yeah, she does. Um, of course, that's a risk in any relationship, It is. Right? I mean, relationships and, 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 break up. And it's just, that's, that's exactly what it is. I mean, I look at it that way. Anything could happen. If I'm gonna start thinking that, you know, he's gonna leave me for someone younger, it's not gonna be fun anymore, so I'm not, even thinking that, am I going to get hurt? Yeah, everybody gets hurt eventually. I mean, I'm prepared to be hurt. Let's put it that way. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm kind of preparing myself the if things don't work out. Between. All right. Well, our next guest never changed her mind. We're going to meet a 76-year-old woman who was once crowned Miss Cougar America. Hi. In 2011, I won the Miss Cougar America title. I was 73. It just happens that younger men like me. The holidays should be a time of hope and happiness, but for families, children, and the elderly struggling with hunger, it continues to be a time of need. Feeding America is the nation's leading domestic hunger relief organization, feeding 37 million Americans. Every dollar you donate helps provide nine meals to men, women, and children facing hunger in our country. Visit DrPhil.com to find out how you can help this holiday season. Well, 76-year-old also says she has been a cougar for 40 years. She says her sexual energy is no different today than it was in her 30s, and men her age, they don't even come close. <laughs> I am a cougar. I date younger men. I'm 76. I have been dating younger men between 35 and 40 years. The youngest man I dated was 20, and I was 50, and he asked me out. In 2011, I won the Miss Cougar America title. I was 73 when I won the title. Oldest recipient. I felt it said something positive about older women. Age is not exactly a factor. It just happens that younger men like me, and I like them. If I'm dating a guy now who's 50-something, that's pretty much in line with where I am sexually. What have you got to lose? Certainly not your virginity. Uh, also uh, joins us in the audience, and um, she says, after 40, men go downhill. So you're 76, right? Yes. So, like, I could be your cub. <laughs> yes. Yes, you could. <laughs> right? But after 40, the pickings get slim, right? Well, it's more, uh, I think that men kind of reach their emotional maturity between... 30 and 45 and, and during that time they're they're more flexible you know you can you can kind of maybe influence them a little bit um, and after that they kind of it's kind of downhill you know <laughs> really so w between 30 and 45 was the best I'm gonna get <laughs> yeah. 
I, yeah. I hope you enjoyed those years. Right. <laughs> Feel like dog years now, don't they? <laughs> but I, I've got to say, you're 76. You look amazing for 76 well, years old. Um, I hate it when people say that. You're actually very attractive. You just, the fact that you're 76 makes it especially uh, interesting. You've obviously taken very good care of yourself. Uh, well, I have genetics on my side, yeah. too. My mother is 100 years old, and she's still living, and... Well, does she date? <laughs> <laughs> you don't think that these relationships between... Uh, these two women and their younger men, you don't think they're long-term relationships. Yours haven't proven no, to be. No, I don't look at it as, uh, oh, I'm going to be hurt, I'm going to be crushed, you know. I, I really see it as, as educating them for the benefit of women. Right. You, 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 you just... <laughs> You just, you just educate them and then you graduate them after exactly. a while. A 20 year age difference may not be a big deal when the man is 20 and the woman is 40. But let's take a look at the age gap as people get older. Now we have some audience volunteers who don't know each other at all, so these are not couples. So if your spousal unit is at home watching this, they're, they're not here with a date. Uh, we arrange these. Okay, uh, Tim and, and Bonnie, uh, can you stand up? Uh, Tim, you're 46. Yep. Uh, and Bonnie, you're 68. Yes. Okay, so here, we, this is a 20-year a, a difference. And w would you, if you were available, would you date a 20-year younger man like Tim here? It just all depends. Yeah. So you're not just swept off your feet by him. Tim, sorry. Uh, <laughs> But this, this is what the 20-year difference looks like at this age. Okay, Harold, can you stand up? Harold is 51 and Joanne is 74. Okay, so here's this age difference when it gets up to that age. And uh, both very attractive, but d you would notice a difference in age, right? Would you notice it, exactly. Joanne? Yes. All right, we'll be right back. <laughs> Well, now I'd like to hear what the studio audience has to say about this cougar controversy. Under your chair, you're going to find a voting device. I'd like to, you to answer these questions. Now, here's the first question. Why are some older women attracted to younger men? And here are your choices. A, sex. B, energy. C, money, which is kind of stability, I guess. <laughs> D, emotional security, maturity. E, none of the above. All right, go ahead and vote. Sex, energy, money, emotional security, or none of the above? A, B, C, or D? Yeah. All right. <laughs> uh, that is a very phallic response. Uh, that says it's sex. You might have used a different kind of bar graph for that, but I, I think that speaks volumes without the numbers. Uh, okay, why are some younger men attracted to older women? Same choices, sex, energy, money, emotional security, maturity, or none of the above? Here are the results. Oh, okay, money. All right, just interesting what y'all think about that. Before we say goodbye, for all the women watching today who want to look their best and maintain a youthful glow, or maybe date someone much younger like t t today's guest, uh, I want to remind you there are some secret weapons as easy to get as the click of a button. As you know, my wife Robin, who I think looks amazing, uh, has worked... Uh, yeah. Don't you be cougaring up on somebody. Uh, she has worked diligently over the last few years to create a skincare line, Robin McGraw Revelation. That's right. You know what? I want women to know that it's not selfish to take care of yourself. It is important to celebrate yourself. Put yourself first. And what better time of year to start giving to yourself? Because it's a gift to everyone you love. 
I made a promise that I was going to take the very best care of myself that I possibly could, not only for myself, but for my family. You know what? A girl has to take care of her skin. So today, I want to give my complete 30-day skincare kit to everyone in the audience. <laughs> And I want you to know she did all the lab tests on my bald head. Uh, for those of you at home, log on to RobinMcGrawRevelation.com to learn more and enter a chance to win your own 30-day free kit. I want to thank all of my guests today. Log on to DrPhil.com. Share your thoughts on our message boards. You can also find me on Facebook and Twitter using hashtag DrPhil and hashtag Cougars and Cubs. We'll see you next time. Thank you. That was so nice to meet you. Thanks so much. Guys. All right, thanks so much.